Hello everyone and welcome to Daria Draws. Today I'm making a little walk through my latest painting for you. So we're going to talk a little bit about technique and the steps I take to get to the end result. As many of you know, I work in mostly Russian and Italian techniques. I kind of uh, mend the two and adjust them to my own needs. I am a trained fine artist, so hopefully you will find this video helpful or will simply satisfy your curiosity. Now, a little bit about the painting. It is a portrait. Um, I was just thinking about kind of the summer that is coming up, the Italian ice cream and all those kind of moods. So I wanted to use uh, reddish browns to really highlight the, um, the heat moment. I usually keep my color scheme very limited because the more colors you put, the more um, you will have like gaps between the shades. But if you have just like um, three to five, maybe six colors um, from the tube and then you kind of start mixing them, you will have a very nice united palette and that will obviously show in your painting. Most of the times I would start off by sketching an artwork, but if I have a very vivid vision, I can just go right in with the paint on the canvas. I chose the circular, the round canvas, uh, just because it's a fun shape to work with and I kind of felt like experimenting with that and uh, fitting in something that wasn't round on a round canvas seemed like a good idea to me. Once I get to the canvas, I just tone it down with any brown that I kind of envision in the final palette scheme. So in my, um, in my preferences, I usually use a Morris brown or a number. Um, sometimes it's also burnt sienna, just to kind of get rid of that pure white that is very distracting sometimes and let the canvas kind of eat that layer of the paint rather than your actual future artwork because the colors do get a lot darker and they look very dull, especially the first couple of layers. I then proceed with uh, the sketch using a thin brush and a very diluted brown so that I can easily change it up just by wiping it with a piece of cloth or tissue in case I make a mistake. Then I would normally mark the shadows and kind of finalize the shape so that it looks uh, somewhat human or a bit more realistic. And then I proceed with fleshy tones or like the main colors of the object. Uh, they shouldn't be too bright because that's like for a bit later. Uh, we want to stick with like kind of shadowy darker shades and then we go lighter and lighter with every layer. Then it's all about getting the structure and it's kind of like going back and forth between uh, creating the right values and creating the right drawing. So you want to balance the two and each session starts with correcting the drawing, which means the outlines and the structure of the painting, and then going back with the colors. So once I'm more or less satisfied with the painting overall in warm tones, we move on to the cool ones. And I chose the um, more of a greenish cool tone rather than the blue because it contrasts very well with the orangey, red, brown uh, color palette overall. So I wanted to kind of stay there, uh, otherwise blue would be popping way too much. In case of the portrait, the cooler tones kind of go in the dense of the body, like also the veins, like here on the temples you can have some like maybe the little tiny shadows here. Um, it really depends what image or what model you're working with. Um, but in my case, it was just that. So when I was um, kind of happy with the uh, mid results, I moved on to the details such as fingernails, um, maybe some strokes on the hair, 
uh, freckles, some highlights like on the nose, maybe somewhere on the mouth, and uh, yeah, and that was pretty much it. And then you have to also see um, after a while and make sure that the highlights aren't popping too much and uh, they don't look like fake highlighter kind of thing. And this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, there's so much more uh, and so many more details I could go to, but that would take me literally days to describe them to you. <laughs> because of course, these paintings do not happen even in hours. It's days, <laughs> to say the least, if it's a small format, of course. Uh, to support this channel, as always, you can comment and like and subscribe to it, and I will see you in the next video.